What is a truss? A truss is a structure made of one or more triangles held together by straight members. The reason why triangles are used is because they are the most structural and stable shape. Why do we use trusses instead of solid pieces of material? For many reasons. This is a bridge used by trains. Instead of a truss bridge, imagine using a solid piece of steel that went from one end of the bridge to the other. There are a few problems with that idea. For example, no business in the world can make such a piece of steel. Transporting the beam is also a problem. The cost to make such a piece is extremely expensive. However, making bridges with trusses are more realistic. Building and transporting pieces of a bridge is doable and the price is bearable. Trusses are used in everyday applications such as bridges, roller coasters, roofs, or even buildings. This is a physical representation of what the first example truss looks like. Here is the free body diagram of the truss drawn in MD solids. Here it is with the loads acting on it. This is the physical representation of what the second example truss looks like. This is the free body diagram of the truss. Here it is with the loads acting on it. The two forces that will be calculated are compression and tension. Compression is when pressure is being applied inward on both ends. Tension is when the beam is getting stretched on both ends. Now that you know the basics of what a truss is and why they are used, you will be shown how to mathematically calculate the forces acting on each beam or member in a truss.